You may have a number of goals in your life today and one central goal that is all-consuming. I urge you to pray as to how you can make all of your goals converge at the point of the path of Christhood, that becoming the Christ for you may be a householder, may be having a family and children, having being teachers or professionals or doing all kinds of things that are necessary to the fulfillment of positive momentums of karma and necessary to the balancing of negative karma. All these things can converge. You don't have to let go of anything except it comes under the headings of such things as incorrect livelihood and those points of the Eightfold Path of the Buddha. Whatever is lawful in the purity of the Christ and the Holy Christ Self, whatever is lawful for the Buddhic manifestation within you, which is love and joy and the givingness of self, whatever that is, that can become a part of your Christhood, and whatever else you are doing or you are that is not a part of your Christhood, let go of it. Just drop it. Just let it drop. Drop it right here in the heart of the inner retreat at the altar of God. You don't need to have a part of yourself in the astral plane to be happy. You may think you do because you've become dependent upon the, the vibrations of the astral plane and people who are a part of the astral plane or the weight of your own karma and your own emotional body. But if you really desire to be free, you need to know that what is real sacrifice is when you keep all that garbage and all that baggage. That's a sacrifice because you are sacrificing your Christhood to that mess of pottage that will mean nothing to you as far as the ongoing journey of eternal life is concerned. It is no sacrifice to be the Christ. It is the greatest joy and the greatest gift of God to us. We are so humble before that opportunity to walk and talk with our Savior. That is the joy of divine love. When people tell me that I am making so many sacrifices, I tell them that is ridiculous. The whole world is making the sacrifice of foregoing the marvelous union of being caught up as the bride of Jesus Christ with the divine spouse. This is the glory of God. So let us recognize that when we talk about a path of surrender and sacrifice and selflessness and service, it is not a path of self-denial. It is a path of the affirmation of true being and the letting go of all that is unreal about ourselves. This is such an important and intense elixir that I give to you in this moment to forever let go of those things that you keep looking back to and keep looking back to and can't let go of when all of the things that are really important in life are yours in abundance, in joy, in happiness, in glory. There is no path of the sorrowful way. There is no path of burden. Every problem in your life can and will be solved as long as you don't get out of alignment with a living Christ. Let's say you had eight cylinders piled one on the other. And this is kind of a pipe, and it's a pipeline to your presence. So one of these cylinders moves over here because you're caught up in too much self-concern and self-pity. And then another one gets off over here because you're into condemnation and criticism of someone else. And so God wants to save you, and he sends the light down, and the light can't come down because the missing parts uh, of these successive cylinders simply are no longer a tube, a tunnel, where the light can descend and restore you. So you must never allow yourself to get away from the centeredness of God's being. And there's a little mantra that you can give to remind yourself to stay centered. It is a mantra that reminds you that as long as you have ever been, as long as you have ever served God and loved God, he has never, ever let you down. He has never forsaken you. He has never abandoned you, and you have come through what you have had to come through. And the mantra is, and it's from scripture, it says very simply, Hitherto hath the Lord 
helped us, which means he's helped us up to now. He's going to help us from now on and permanently into the future until we are ascended in the light and free. Hitherto hath the Lord helped us. Hitherto hath the Lord helped us. Hitherto hath the Lord helped us. Hitherto hath the Lord helped us.